Floyd Buddy Valance is the son of a Methodist preacher. There's a decades-old stereotype. A preacher's son is either a do-gooder or a devil. For Pulaski County's Buddy Valance, it seems the pressure to perform would have been tripled because his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather were all men of the cloth. But not so, Buddy says. My parents were wonderful, loving, and service-minded. While his family moved seven times around the state, Buddy was allowed to discover his own calling. And as a young student at Hendricks College, he met Arkansas political legends like David Pryor, John McClellan, and Winthrop Rockefeller. Buddy realized he had a knack for politics and decided to run for class president. One of his memorable class campaign slogans was, where there's life, there's Bud. Following college, Buddy teamed up with a bunch of rock and rollers, Little Joe and the BKs. He went to law school and he also served in Vietnam where he was awarded the Bronze Star. Luckily for Pulaski County residents, he didn't join a band, stay in the military, or go into law. Instead, he chose the less lucrative career of public service. It would prove a most rewarding choice, a win-win choice for us all. Uh, Buddy, I want to say thank you so much for uh, what you've done for the community. Uh, you are, have been an inspiration and a guiding light to me and to many, many others. Uh, from my days as city attorney to now as mayor, I've known you for, I guess, almost 30 years as a good friend and a mentor. And I wish you and Beverly and the entire family the best of luck in the future. During the mid-1970s, Buddy and others began to see the decline of downtown Little Rock and across the Arkansas River on the North Shore. Buildings were abandoned, demolished, and replaced with parking lots. Jim McKenzie, the Metro Plan Director, said, after five o'clock you could fire a cannon down Main Street without hitting anything. Buddy recalls the banks and government were stuck while the suburban malls started pulling away from downtown. The impending decay of desertion became more obvious when Buddy spent a few days in San Antonio with Little Rock developer Jimmy Moses. As the two sat beer in hand on the Riverwalk, they realized Little Rock had similar possibilities. I was on the city staff in the 70s. And we had a parks director then named Julius Brecklin. Uh, downtown Riverfront Park is Julius Brecklin Park. He had a dream of connecting the uh, parks on the south side of the river from downtown out to Pinnacle Mountain. It would take much more than wishes. It would take vision, dedication, and roll up your sleeves hard work. Buddy entered into politics in 1984, and five years later, after serving as vice mayor, he ran for and won Little Rock's top spot. But it wasn't until he was an elected Pulaski County judge that he realized how limiting a mayor's position was. Buddy changed his campaign slogan to, Together We Can Make a Difference, words that reflected his approach to the public's business. As county judge, he reached across the table to bring the county and its various cities together. There are eight within the county. These partnerships would result in a number of high-profile projects, starting with the Altel Arena, now known as the Verizon Arena, in North Little Rock. The 18,000-seat facility was built without debt, and possibly was the earliest visible marker of the twin downtown's slow slog to renewal. In Little Rock, the convention center doubled its capacity and Buddy was involved in the plans to renovate the junction and Broadway bridges. He and CATA director Keith Jones were instrumental in the installation of the trolley system and he was an important supporter of the river market. It's possible without these first few public commitments to the downtown area, the Clinton Presidential Library might have found a different home. And that library is the anchor that attracted Heifer International and helps drive continued growth downtown. But Buddy's vision wasn't limited to downtown. He was instrumental in the construction of the Slackwater Harbor at the port and signed sister city agreements with Milan and Bergamo, both in Italy. Even before it was hip, he was an advocate of creating places where people want to live, work, and play. Buddy, a guy that understands rock and roll, how to build penitentiaries and big damn bridges, that's an incredible career. Congratulations to you. Buddy, Ronnie Mobley, I just wanted to thank you for all the jobs that we've built in conjunction while you've been mayor here and 
Pulaski County, the trolley, and, the uh, Clinton uh, Library uh, Bridge, uh, the Virginia West Tom, approach of the Big Dam Bridge. You have, you have been great. Uh, you've done a wonderful job for Pulaski County, and, and you've built so years, much, and we were just pleased and happy that we got to build some of it for you. Thanks for all the great things you've done for Arkansas. Renewal wasn't the judge's only goal. He wanted to change the two cities' culture, not by building another public museum or music venue, but by getting people up off the couch and outside. The real, I guess, kickoff for it, though, was uh, the River Project. Uh, that was an effort by uh, actually all the cities in the county and the county joined together to raise uh, funds through a sales tax for building a new arena and expanding the convention center. But as we did that, we said we want more than just a new building. We want, uh, in addition to the other, we want a place along the river where people would want to be. We build trails for people. He worked with several local, state, and federal agencies to build the 4,226 feet long Pulaski County Pedestrian and Bicycle Bridge at Murray Lock and Dam. We just call it the Big Dam Bridge and it's the longest bicycle pedestrian bridge in the world. Buddy remembers, I walked into one of those meetings where the frustrations were running high with a tone and the attitude of giving up. My response was simple. We're going to build that damn bridge. He wasn't cursing, but referring to the Murray Lock and Dam. Later, he would add big to the name while taking a group on an early tour of the bridge. Upon its dedication in 2006, Buddy and his partners hosted the Big Dam 100, and now the cycling tour brings thousands from around the country. Nearby the Two Rivers Park, also a Buddy project, was pulling walkers, bikers, and picnickers. Both were located on the western end of the city, but the river trail on the north and south shores offered a scenic walking and biking connection from downtown to West Little Rock. Hola, Buddy. I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity to wish you the very best as you embark upon a new and different career. We have been friends for many years, over 30 by my count, and I have enjoyed your friendship, your wisdom, and your support. All the best to you and Beverly, and uh, many, many years of fun ahead for you. Hey, Judge, you demand. Let me thank you for your 24 years of being captain of the county. Notice I use a nautical term. Uh, and what you led us uh, to accomplish, uh, Verizon Arena, the Big Dam Bridge, the Junction Bridge, uh, uh, our trail system, on and on. If you measure leaving a place better than when you found it, uh, you won that race by a country mile, or maybe I ought to say a county mile. Judge, thanks again for all your service. Let's go to the next adventure. Uh, I had a gentleman, a uh, friend of mine from my church tell me, he said, you know, he said, I come up here and it's more than just a walk and exercise. It's a spiritual experience. This whole development of, uh, uh, of this trail system and, and a way to connect these special places uh, has been going on since the 70s. And I've been fortunate enough to be a little part of it, different stages of it along the way. While these achievements may well be what people in central Arkansas will long remember and point to as Buddy Vline's finest achievements, there are 600 square miles of unincorporated land under the county judge's supervision. His list of accomplishments around the county are too long to list here, but here are a few highlights. He replaced 85 bridges and rehabbed nine, added or replaced 28,000 traffic control devices, seven traffic signals, put down 153 miles of asphalt overlay, 2,320 miles of chip seal, completed 44 major drainage projects, 56 major improvements, and completed 35 joint ventures with Pulaski County municipalities. Around the county, he had a hand in building pedestrian and horse trails, parks, theaters, and public libraries, rehab brownfields, added jail beds and health units, installed 29 tornado sirens, 76 fire hydrants, and he fought for improvements to employ policy and programs. He worked hard for the county's youth through programs, classes, and career opportunities. And there's so much more that could be said of Buddy's tenure. Not too bad. Not bad at all for the son of a preacher. Thanks, Buddy. Thank, Thank you, you, Judge Valines. Thank you, Judge Valines. Thank you, Judge Valines. Thank you, Buddy. 
Thank you, Judge Blondes. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Judge Blondes. Thank you, Judge Blondes. Thanks, Judge. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Judge Blondes. Thank you, Judge Blondes. Thank you, Judge Thank you, Judge Blondes. Thank you, Judge Blondes. You'll be sorely missed. What an incredible career you've had. Congratulations. We'll miss you. Buddy, I want to wish you good luck as you embark on a new and different phase of your life. Buddy, you've been a great inspiration for all these years, and I certainly do wish you well in retirement. Hi, Buddy, this is Paige, and we're wishing you an excellent retirement. And it has been a wonderful 15-year journey with you at Pulaski County. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Buddy, for all the great things you've done for Arkansas. And while there's still more to be done around the county, such as the construction of the Southwest Trail, Buddy says he's ending his career. I will have had the honor of serving 30 years in elective office. After a great deal of thought and reflection, I decided not to seek re-election nor run for another office in 2014. But he says, it's simply time to step down. Buddy Valines is a man of vision and determination and we will long remember him by the mark he has made on Central Arkansas. No more prophetic words were spoken but by the man himself in his youth when he said, where there's life, there's Bud. <laughs>